Right, hello everyone, welcome back to another match day vlog. We are at home for this one as the Reds take on Oxford. So just before we get into today's video, I do just want to give a massive, massive thank you to everyone who has watched my Rotherham vlog, which in two days has got just shy of 5,900 views, which is crazy. That is an unreal amount of support. And uh, the comments and everything like that have, have, have been really, really nice as well. So uh, a massive thank you to everyone who has watched that vlog. But let's get on to today's match. We're playing Oxford. They sit in fifth and three points for them tonight. If results go their way or not, I'm not entirely sure who else is playing tonight. But if everything goes their way, they could be level with Wigan on points and they could be joint second. So tonight is absolutely massive for uh, Oxford. We sit in 15th and three points for us and results going our way would mean that we are level with Bolton in 10th. So it is a big game for us as well, but I think Oxford have a lot more to play for than we do. I don't think we'll go down this season and Oxford, they really want to be getting up there this season. So I think they'll become absolutely flying out at us. And uh, a massive, massive fair play to any Oxford fan who's coming up on a Tuesday night to come to the North West and freeze their ass off and basically freeze our arse off for 90 minutes. So a massive, massive fair play to anyone who's coming up. And without further ado, let's get to the WAM Stadium. Come on, you Reds! And we've just hit kick-off. Would love a point from today. Three points have been massive. It'd be massive for them as well, so we need to stay on our guard. They'll be coming at us thick and fast. We need to deal with it, that's all we do. I think that now is the perfect opportunity to just absolutely compliment the following of Oxford United tonight. Look at them all. Not just in that stand, but in that stand too. They brought as many as Morecambe did on Saturday. That is absolutely unreal support. And to say the majority of them are standing in the away end, not a care in the world, you've got to give respect to that. Massive fair play. As it stands, Oxford are running rings around our players. The passing on the ground is so good, so precise to each other. Some really good one twos, and our defence just, just can't handle it at the minute. What a good ball. Oh, cleared off the line by Sykesy. They play the ball straight down our middle, straight through the midfield, no one there to stop him. What a, what a vital block there from Sykes. He's been our absolute saviour so far these past 25 minutes. He's cleared one off the line and not but going back post. Ooh. Come on! Well, he laid off. Ah, oh, we're offside. Unlucky. Oh, look at 
look at all the room we've given him. Wait, he should have laid it off to him. We've had no chance. Oh, what a good move there from Sean. Here comes Clyde bombing it down the wing. his whistle for half time 1-0 up let's keep it up Reds come on and we've just kicked off for the second half now if we could come away with all three points that would be absolutely class but I get the feeling that Oxford will find the way back into the game one way or another a corner now for the Reds we've got all our big lads here a bit of a scuffle taking place between number seven and Sykesy. Come on, Butcher. Oh, Hamilton were there. Yes. I'll take that. Come on, Hamilton. Just out muscle there. It's a shame really because uh, Ross Axe was in the box to uh, get his head on whatever came in to the area. Come on! Ooh! Oh, lucky lad! Oh, lucky! Come on, lad! Come on! Oh, Substitution for the Reds, O'Sullivan's gone off injured and we've brought on Longello who we've recently acquired from Newcastle United so let's see what he's made of Oh! Go on Sean! It's Hamilton! I should have just took it! Of course, hold your feet out lads! Ah! Oh! Oh! He's going to take it, he's going to crack it, come on to him! Oh, come on! Come on! Come on, it's Longello bombing it down the wing! Come on! Oh. Oh. Wow! How was I not gone in? That's unbelievable! Come on, Saxy! Come on, he's there, he's in the box! Go on, Hamilton! Yes! Yes! Come on! Yes! Come on! Yes! Come on! guys and it was a 2-0 win to the Reds in the end and um, <clears throat> what a result for us, what an absolutely fantastic result uh, they came absolutely flying out did Oxford as I thought that they might and those first 10-20 minutes they were absolutely all over us and they absolutely should have scored if not for some absolutely heroic defending from our very own Rossi Sykes and then we scored against the run of play and that was it for the first half. They were just on the defence. And then when they started coming into their own again in the second half, especially towards the end, 
they were pushing up to get the equaliser and I think they pushed a little bit too far because when it gets to the 80th minute and you're trailing a goal behind, it's do or die and they stretched the lines too thin, they pushed everyone up and uh, we managed to get the second from that. So um, they were really unlucky, really unlucky. They just lacked the final touch a lot as well. I, I think if they were, um, the amount of chances that they made, if, if the strikers had the shooting boots on, it could have been a very different story. And uh, I just feel a bit sorry for the Oxford fans who obviously made the massive trek up here. And I mean, there must have been about at least 150 of them in the open away end, just having the time of their lives. Well, aside from the performance, but you know, they were there chanting away, they were singing their hearts out. And that is what being a true football supporter is, is, is really about. It doesn't matter where you're playing, what stand you're in, you're singing, you're supporting your team. And you can't ask any more from that from any fan. And... Uh, Absolutely fantastic away following from Oxford for a Tuesday night. Really impressive. For us, I think our star men were... Um, I'm, I'm quite torn between this one. And um, it's torn between Rossi Sykes, who absolutely saved our asses today, especially in the first half. I think he cleared about... He cleared one off the line, and there was a shot that were bending in round the post, and it just took a deflection off Sykes because he stuck his leg out, and that honestly, that man has, has, has saved us, and he won every header, every aerial duel, he was winning every aerial duel, and his, his, his balls that he were sending up front, and the runs he made, he were, he were absolutely fantastic today, and I think uh, the new striker, uh, Cordy, I think he was absolutely phenomenal today, did he score? No, but he did everything else, he He's an absolute workhorse. He reminds me of Dion Charles, to be honest. Just an absolute uh, workhorse. He ran for everything. He put pressure on. And I think his, his, his reading of the game, his awareness, he was always in the right places. He always knew where to be. So, um, uh, they're my star men. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you did like it, please do feel free to like and subscribe the video. We are so close to 600 subscribers that is mental. I never thought I'd be anywhere near it, if I'm being honest. And we're only a very few select subscribers away. So um, if you enjoyed today's video that much, that you want to leave it a sub to my channel, I would absolutely love that and uh, appreciate that. It'd be fantastic. Uh, feel free to leave a comment because I love interacting with people. It's one of the best parts of doing this. You get to talk to real and proper football fans, and uh, it's 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 just one of the best things about doing this, uh, to be honest. So please feel free to leave a comment, and I will see you guys on Saturday when we play Crew at home, and uh, I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.